In this video, we're gonna take a quick look at the performance differences between the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G14 and the Lenovo Legion Slim 7. Now, the cool thing about this head-to-head -head review is they both come equipped with AMD CPU and GPU. So the Slim 7 comes with the AMD Ryzen 9 6900HX and the RX 6800S GPU, whereas the Asus Zephyrus G14 comes with the Ryzen 9 6900HX S and the RX 6700S. So we're gonna see which components perform better for creators. Let's dive in right now. First and foremost, let's look at Geekbench single core and multi-core. And as you can see on both of the tests, the Slim 7 slightly outperforms the Zephyrus G14. Now, as we get into Cinebench R20, same thing, a slight performance bump by choosing the Slim 7. Going to Cinebench R23 single core and multi-core, it is again, the same story. You are seeing slightly more performance out of the Slim 7 as compared to the Zephyrus G14. So that HX and that extra bump in TDP from the 6800S over the 6700S is giving us an edge on the competition. Now, let's get into Blender Classroom, but before we do, this channel is trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by Christmas. So Lenovo sent over these three Lenovo Legion 5 Pros, and as soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers, we're gonna kick off a giveaway to celebrate passing the 100,000 subscriber mark. The faster we get there, the sooner the giveaway is coming your way. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, share this video, and drop a comment of how you would use a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Looking at Blender Classroom, once again, as you can see by the tiniest little bit, the Slim 7 is edging out the G14 in the Blender Classroom test. Now, both laptops will be great laptops for Blender. So really, whatever one you choose, if you want a 16-inch screen versus the 14-inch screen, then, you know, choice is yours. That's really where it boils down to for me at this point. Now looking at Autodesk 3ds Max, you have a 191 versus a 204, not a big difference there. Checking out Autodesk Maya, you can see that they are literally neck and neck with a two point difference. And then moving on to PTC Creo, this is where we probably see the most substantial difference of 10 whole points. Everybody hold the phones. 10 point difference. And so really either way, both laptops are performing very well uh, in these initial real world tests. Looking at SolidWorks, you can see that this is the one test where the G14 actually comes over the Slim 7, but it's only by three points. So no matter if you're using Blender or any of these 3D modeling programs, these two laptops are neck and neck, and it really is based on features and functionality for you more than be based on performance. So I hope this helps with your decision-making process so far. Moving on to the Photoshop benchmark, you can see that you get a 927 out of the Slim 7 and you get a 939 out of the G14. Taking a look at After Effects, once again, After Effects is the same story, a 798 versus a 795. So it's very, very similar performance. And that's why when I was doing my initial G14 review, I said that you should go with a 6700S because it had a better thermal management than the 6800S, specifically because Matt Monez was reviewing it and he said it kept shutting down on him when it had the 6800S. I had the 6700S and it never had that issue. So if I were you, I wouldn't say, hey, I'm gonna get the G14, but I'm gonna get the 6800S because it's gonna give me so much more performance even over this Slim 7. I wouldn't do that. I think the 6700S is really the perfect GPU for that G14. All right, moving on to playback inside of Premiere Pro for drop frames, we're looking at 4K, 6K B-RAW, and 6K RED footage for each of these laptops. And once again, they are close. The G14 actually has a slight edge on the Slim 7. For whatever reason, RED footage inside of that system just runs a little bit smoother. So if you're looking for a slight edge, then you would go with the G14, but honestly, very minimal difference between the two for playback. As we get into the 4K export time, you can see that the G14 does perform slightly better once again for video editing. It gets a two minute and 50 second export time compared to the 309 export out of the Slim 7. Now, looking at 6K export time, you can see that you get a 13 minute and 52 second export versus the 17 minute and 53 second export. So there's a big difference there for 6K B-RAW export time out of Premiere Pro. I would go with the G14, it's showing better results. 
but keep in mind that it's gonna be a hotter laptop. So let's pause here to pull up the 4K thermal and fan mode results. And as you can see, the G14 is substantially hotter by about 14 degrees Celsius than the Slim 7. So if you want a cooler laptop, maybe a little bit quieter, the Slim 7 is gonna be where it's at for you. However, you're gonna have a slightly slower performance on the export time in something like 6K. So keep that in mind, it's kind of tomato tomato there. Uh, now moving on to DaVinci Resolve, you can see that in DaVinci Resolve, the Asus Zephyrus G14 and the Slim 7 are pretty much neck and neck. Good six minute and 31 second export time for the Slim 7 and 651 for the G14. Both good export times, um, pretty standard for these high performing gaming laptops. You can get a better export time out of something like the M16 at about five minutes, but really punch for punch, they're in a good place. Now, the one thing I wanna point out between these two laptops is battery life. Though the Slim 7 ran cooler and a little bit quieter, the battery life on the G14 is better. And the reason being is the Armory Crate Center really optimizes the components very well inside of the Asus laptop. It's able to get great battery life with the use of eco mode. So basically it turns off the GPU and you're running just on the CPU. And that HS processor is far more optimized. It's a, it's a bit of a lower TDP than the HX processor. So if you want a more on the go friendly laptop, I would look for that laptop with the HS. I would look for the G14 or the G15. That's gonna have a really good on the go friendly CPU. The HX is great inside of the Slim 7. It's just not as efficient as the HS inside of the G14. So for battery life, I would go for the G14. For cool and quiet, I would go for the Slim 7. But punch for punch, as you can see, in most tests outside of 6K, they both perform very well. It really depends on if you want like a 16 inch screen and this type of build versus the G14, which is a little bit more of like a gamer vibe. The Slim 7 is a little bit more professional look. Those are kind of some of the big differences. Go ahead and subscribe right now so you can help us reach 100,000 subscribers. It would be a huge amazing favor to us here on the channel. Super grateful if y'all would do that. Otherwise, links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase and likes that this video has brought you some value. I'll see you here in the next video.